Hello, ready for a little colour chemistry with faith and science. <coughs> Holy smoke! Can someone open a window, please? Holy smoke! Exploring faith and science. Hello, I'm Faye, otherwise known as the Batty Boffin. Today we're going to be doing some colour experiments. So you're going to need some felt tips, just ordinary washable felt tips will be fine. And a permanent marker, so a permanent black marker here. You're also going to need some ordinary kitchen towel. Now I'm not actually going to tell you how to do this. We're going to look at it first and then you're going to have a go at telling me how it works. So here we go with the experiment. So here you can see I've drawn a rainbow with my black marker, the black permanent marker. But I have to say it doesn't look much like a rainbow yet. But wait. You can use a little water, you can either sprinkle it on with your fingers or you can use a spray bottle if you've got one of those. And in the pores, see if you can explain how this works. Just watch it for a minute. So, did you work it out? I guess you did. I actually drew the rainbow in these coloured markers underneath it first and then used the permanent marker to go over the top. But the question is, when I sprayed it, why did only the colours run and not the black? Well, the difference is because ordinary felt tip pens are washable. That means that the colours are dissolved in water as the solvent. Whereas permanent markers, um, so it says permanent on it there, okay. permanent markers, have ethanol, which is one of the alcohols, as their solvent. So these things dissolve in ethanol, but they don't dissolve in water. So when I sprayed water all over it, the washable felt tip pens started to run through the paper by capillary action. That means the capillaries, the little tiny gaps between the fibres in the paper served as almost little straws, little tubes, and the water could run down those little tubes taking the inks with them. But because the black permanent marker doesn't dissolve in water, that didn't run and we end up with this fabulous rainbow. Isn't it great? You've probably seen quite a few rainbows in people's windows. At the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, people have been putting rainbows in their windows as a sign of hope and joy. But of course, rainbows go back way, way further than that. The first mention in rainbows we find is in Genesis, when after the flood, God put a rainbow in the sky as a sign of his promise to care for us always. And I think that's a great symbol. So enjoy your rainbows and put some up in the window. 